This croquet set needs a holder. It's going to be used quite often and needs to be out and ready to go. So the client showed me this picture. It's an old set and I believe the holder's made out of metal, but I use wood. So I'm going to make it out of wood and make it look very similar and everything will then have a place. So let's do it.
Well, I lost, broke part of this off and lost the knot here. Um, so I put a piece of dowel in there. I was trying to hide the knot with the leg and it just um, wasn't intact enough. So got a um, piece of uh, dowel in there and then I'll cut that off and you won't even see it. I got this paint striper in with my grandma's um, art supplies when she passed away. 
Um, I've never used it. Obviously, she's never used it. Um, so I'm going to try it out because I want to put a white stripe on this project. So I opened it up. I'm not sure how old this thing is, but um, there's some ideas. I'm thinking maybe the 80s. Anyway, let's see. So it doesn't have many instructions, but I'm going to use... It only says to, you know, pull it evenly and then use this as a guide to keep it where the line where you want it. So I'm going to use this thick one and um, put the paint in the jar and then try it out. That didn't work too well, but it's not bad. Might just keep going. Well, I don't know. It looks a lot better on the video, but I don't like it. I'm taking it off. You want to put it on really thick because you only have one shot at this. You can't let it dry and put on another coat. Otherwise, when you pull that tape off, it's going to take all your paint with it. So do it really thick, one coat, and then pull it off while it's still wet and you'll have a much better result. Much better than the line tool. I guess that's why she never opened it. 